that clothing is not just what you wear, but clothe yourself in a more beautiful way with your character, your conduct. And for a more min, clothe yourselves with piety. Taqwa, closeness to Allah. Allah says this in the Quran, the clothing of piety is the best. And this has deep meaning in it, not just the physical clothing. Let me tell you something. If I'm a person who has tatty clothing, but I am, I've got so much positivity beaming from me, and I'm a spiritual person, religious person with a link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my clothing becomes irrelevant. Irrelevant. And if I'm the smartest guy on the face of the earth in terms of my dress, but I'm a crook, no one wants to talk to me. I have a bad mouth. Nobody would want to talk to me. Anyone, I just look at them. You know, that look, that look. No, you need to humble yourself. No matter who you are, ask yourself, have you touched this life in a beautiful way so that when you get to the life after, it will come as a deed. It will come as a deed. May Allah grant us goodness. I just recalled something. Yesterday I went to hunt for my phone. I told you that at the beginning of my talk. There was a lady who helped me. And believe me, she was quite stern at the beginning. And when we were finished with my phone, subhanAllah, she actually smiled. Thank you very much. Okay, I said, oh, I have a lovely day. And I walked away. And she just looked at me and smiled. She must be thinking, wow, I had such a different picture of guys who look like this. And look at this man. He's speaking to me. He's wishing me a good day. Wow. And I didn't just say, have a good day and walked away. That's hypocritical. Have a lovely day, ma'am, and walk away. Subhanallah. And then I thought to myself, I'll get the smart Muslim telling me, but you're a Muslim, you're not supposed to have done that. Do you know Islam that you're coming to tell me that you're not supposed to do that? You're living in a non-Muslim country and this is something many people don't understand. You have an environment of people who really, really have a totally bad picture of you. They don't even know. And you're busy trying to apply things in your life that you yourself go against when it's suitable for you. I remember a man who told me you're not allowed to speak to a woman at all. And one day I was on a flight and he was busy chatting the hostess. And I'm thinking, oh, is that not a woman? Wow. You know, I didn't know that transgenders also did that. May Allah protect us. Really. It's something strange that you know what? When it suits you, you'll talk about the dunya. Well, what about me when I want to promote my deen? Can I not talk about that when it's much more important?